I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected shaitan. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most compassionate. Brothers, sisters and beloved children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May this message reach you in good health and iman. Ameen. Look before you leap. We are at the corner of Halloween and it is our duty to understand and propagate the truth about Halloween. Very important part of our deen is enjoy what is right and forbid what is wrong. One way or the other we are enjoying both right and wrong. We should at least try the minimum to let every Muslim and non-Muslim know about what they are surrounded by. Let's understand different dimensions of Halloween. Please listen very carefully so that you can explain to your friends and colleagues. I did some homework for you. There are almost 20 countries celebrate Halloween today. Most of the countries started their celebration in recent years. It was not in their original tradition because of North American influence and as part of the North American festivities growing in momentum. Year over year, it is spreading to other countries and regions like cancer spread to the body. Some countries like Philippines converted their local traditions to Halloween. Some countries having Chinese influence like Singapore, they adopt Chinese style Halloween. It is believed that the gates of hell are open and the spirits come, to, come back to visit their families. Halloween had turned into a night of vandalism with the destruction of property, cruelty to animals and people, etc. The most number of people, including children, drink alcohol and the worst type of dressing of the year allowed anyone to dress the way they like. The commercialization of Halloween in the United States did not start until 20th century. Halloween is now the United States' second most popular holiday after Christmas for the decorating and sale of candy and costumes. National Confectioners Association NCA reported that about 85% adults give out candy to trick-or-treaters. 93% of children go trick-or-treating. It generates more than $2 billion in revenue from the candies expected to close to 8 billion revenues in costumes. On an average, every American spends $80 for candy, costume and other. About 51,000 acres of pumpkins harvested in the United States in 2013. Now, let's look at how it came. The dressing or the costume part of the Halloween came from the ancient pre-Christian Celtic festival Samhain. The trick or treat trick or treat part came from European practice souling. Poor people go door to door for food and money in returns for the prayers for the dead. Halloween had its its beginning in an ancient pre Christian Celtic festival of dead. The Celtic people who were once found all over the Europe divided the year by four major holidays. According to their calendar, the year began on a day corresponding to November 1st on our present calendar. The date marked both an ending and the beginning in an eternal cycle. The festival observed at this time was called Samhain. It was the biggest and the most significant holiday of the Celtic year. The Celts believed that at the time of Samhain, more so than any other time of the year, the ghosts of the dead were able to mingle with the living. Because at some time the souls of those who had died during the year traveled into the other world, people gathered to sacrifice animals, fruits and vegetables. They also lit bonfires in honor of the dead to aid them on their journey and to keep them away from the living. On that day, all manner of beings were abroad, ghosts, fairies, demons, all part of the dark and dread. Samhain became the Halloween we are familiar with it today. Now, here is the interesting part. Christian missionaries attempted to change the religious practices of the Celtic people. Missionaries such as St. Patrick converted them to Christianity and the Celts practice an elaborate religion through their priestly caste. 
The druids who were priests, poets, scientists and scholars all at once as religious leaders, rituals and specialists and carriers of the learnings the druids were not unlike the very missionaries and monks who were to christianize their people and brand them evil devil worshippers as a result of their efforts to wipe out pagan holidays such as samhain the christians succeeded in effecting major transformation in in it in 601 ad Pope Gregory the first issued an edict to his missionaries that rather than try to obliterate the native people's custom beliefs he instructed his missionaries to use them if a group of people worshiped a tree rather than cut it down he advised them to hallow it to Christ and allow its continued worship In terms of spreading Christianity this was a brilliant concept and it became a basic approach used in Catholic missionary work Samhain with its emphasis on a supernatural was decidedly pagan while missionaries identified their holy days with those observed by the Celts they branded the earlier religion supernatural deities as evil and associated them with the devil as representatives of the rival religion druids were considered evil worshippers of the devilish or demonic gods and spirits the effects of this policy were to diminish but not totally eradicate the beliefs in the traditional gods celtic beliefs in supernatural creatures persisted while the church made deliberate attempts to define them as being not merely dangerous but malicious um followers of the old religion went into hiding and were branded as witches the old beliefs associated with the samhain never died out um entirely the powerful symbolism of the traveling dead was too strong than the new um more abstract catholic uh, feast honoring saints church tried again to replace it with the christian feast day in the 9th century this time it established november 2nd as all soul day a day when the living prayed for the souls of all the dead but once again the the practice of retaining traditional customs while attempting to redefine them had a sustaining effect the traditional beliefs and custom gave birth to new shape all saints day otherwise known as all hallows continued the ancient celtic traditions the evening prior to the day was the time of the most intense activity both human and supernatural people continued to celebrate all hallows eve as the time of the wandering dead but the supernatural beings were now thought to be evil subsequently all hallows eve become hallow evening which become halloween you can read more on this on loc.gov gov library of congress dear brothers sisters and uh, beloved children we all have to do something about it if your friends in school or office talking about halloween try to educate them what it is if we don't act whether we like it or not the whole country and the entire globe will push into this darkness hence allah's anger will be on every single one of us this is a serious matter and we shouldn't be taken it lightly Halloween is one of the worst celebration in all aspects of Islamic belief. It is purely haram and shirk in participating in any elements of the Halloween. Islam came to liberate the minds from the superstitions and errors. Islam puts an end to the fake beliefs and baseless ideas. A dead man's ruh, the spirit does not roam freely uh, according to Islam. Ghost of the dead returning to take the revenge has no basis in Islam. Allah mentions in the Quran very clearly, وَمِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخُمْ إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ And behind them is a barrier until the day when they are raised. So the, there is no physical contact possible whatsoever. After knowing the truth about Halloween and still sending the children to trick or treat or letting them wear in costumes are unjustifiable. We risk the wrath of Allah who wants us in the Quran in many verses in Surah Nur. Allah says, فَلْيَحْذَرِ الَّذِينَ يُخَالِفُونَ نَمْرِهِ 
أن تصيبهم فتنة أو يصيبهم عذاب أليم and let those who conspire to avoid orders bear less grief or painful punishment befall them. Most of the public schools make this time projects related to Halloween. You can opt out um, our children uh, from this by sending a friendly letter to the school excluding your child from this as this is against uh, your religious belief. You can also include a couple of points so that uh, they don't misunderstand. Also ask the teacher to give an alternate project so that it won't affect your child uh, grade. Educating our children is very important instead of just telling them no. Um, so you have to explain to them why they are excluded from this type of celebration. Also do something on that evening either go out for dinner or there are masses uh, arranging activities that night. So do something to stay away from home so that you don't hear people ringing bell or making noise outside. May Allah guide us, our children, family and community to the right path. May Allah help us to live as an upright Muslim and die as an upright Muslim. Ameen. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.